good morning you two happy vlogmas day nine <laughs> Good morning everybody. Happy Vlogmas day nine. It is so flipping dark in the house today. It's a horrendous winter's day in the UK. Let me show you. Well, it doesn't look too bad from out here. I was being a bit dramatic, but it's just very gloomy today and just like dark everywhere. But hello everybody, how are we feeling? I have decided this morning I was gonna get Oh, oh, I've just lost an earring. I decided this morning to get myself dressed and ready because I spent most of yesterday looking like an absolute slug on Vlogmas. So I have got myself dressed, got my makeup oh, on. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, yeah, I'm wearing the thing again. Sorry, guys. <laughs> He's wearing the jumper. I'm waiting for my birthday, which is in three, four days' time. Maybe for I'll what? get some nice... <laughs> Keep wishing, huh? <laughs> anyway, I have just come downstairs to make myself a, mo ooh, a morning hot chocolate. So I thought I would make myself a hotel chocolate hot chocolate this morning. I don't know which one to go for though. Now, have you tried this ginger one? The the hotel. Oh no, we're not going for chili. <laughs> I don't feel like I want a mint. Caramel, yeah, your mint one was nice, but have we tried ginger? Well, I'm gonna have a ginger today because I feel like that's a little bit Christmassy. And I'm gonna pop that in my hotel chocolate velvetizer because I feel like that's what I need this morning with my <laughs> period tummy, which I keep talking about, I know, but it's a moment for me. Okay, let's give this one a go. I hope it's nice, I'm sure it will be. These hot chocolates though are insane. I'll show you when it's done. It's literally like velvet. Oh, it's a bit dirty, isn't it? <laughs> What's all over there? So it's like icing sugar. Right, I'm gonna leave that. I'm just gonna pop back upstairs. And um, I think this morning we're just gonna have a quick chat. Oh, I'm zoomed, I'm zoomed. There we go. We're gonna have a quick chat because I actually have a meeting in about 15 minutes and it's a two hour one which is not my favorite. I feel like, I don't know, my tummy gets really crampy after it. Is that just me? It's like when I have a car journey, I get crampy tummy after I've been sat down for a long period of time. I just like being active and walking around and moving about all day, but anyway, that's what we're gonna do. We've got a meeting, so I probably won't be able to talk to you during that time, but we'll, we're gonna go for a food shop today, which will be fun. And um, what else are we doing? Oh, we've got a couple of things actually. I'm finally getting these nails done as well. Look at this. Wait, let me just show you how hilarious one of my nails is right now. Can we just appreciate this nail? I don't know what happened. Ignore how bad my skin is around them too. It's winter, I've got really dry skin around my nails. But it just like wonks that way. <laughs> it's like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. And then this one's similar too, look at that! Oh my gosh, they look terrible! I can't wait to get them sorted. Um, but I thought this morning, before we have our meeting, I might go and take you downstairs because we've got Elf on on the TV and I like sitting in the living room next to the Christmas tree, but then also I, I wanna talk to you about like girly things and Niall's gonna be sat behind and I know it's only Niall, but I just, I don't know. <laughs> I like talking to just you lot because I know he's going to butt in, but maybe we'll do that, I don't know. But, how is everyone feeling today? I keep waking up feeling so tired. I think I jinxed myself after saying about my Fitbit doing that smart wake up thing and waking me up feeling less groggy because <laughs> after that day, I tried to set the alarm and my alarm just didn't go off at all. I keep waking up now feeling just so exhausted and just like, oh, I, I don't know, I feel like loads of us are feeling it at the moment because it's just dark and cold and gloomy, but it's nearly Christmas. It's two weeks today till Christmas Eve. So when this vlog is up, it's two weeks till Christmas day. Poppy is crying because she keeps wanting to go in that airing cupboard. But I said she would never be allowed back in there because she threw up everywhere. Don't ask me why, because I have no idea. I think it's because she ate a mouse. <laughs> Cat. 
that's a savage, aren't they? Anyway, I'm just blabbing away this morning. I also did my second wash on my hair and I actually feel like it's lifted some of that gold. Yeah, it has. It's lifted the gold out even more, isn't it? It looks a, a lot more just blonde. Oh, I like it. I haven't even looked at it yet. <laughs> Let's look at it in daylight, if that's what you call daylight. <laughs> I feel like it has really helped. Those two washes have just made it a much nicer blondy sandy. It's a bit like sandy, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, I am going to go grab my hot chocolate and we're going to have a little chat about periods. <laughs> And just like, basically, lots of you have been asking me still to talk even more in detail about coming off my contraception and um, Natural Cycles, which is the app that I use now to track my cycles. And just like pros and cons of different things, periods, how it's going. So I have a quick chat before I meet you. I think I only probably have 10 minutes now. Yes, I have 10 minutes. So let's go. Oh, look, it's ready. Now we're going to have a girly chat now. Do you want to get involved? Wait, we need a Christmas one. Well, I'm not a girl. <laughs> Can I have a girly chat with us? Okay, let me just. <laughs> not about boys. <laughs> I have. Look at this. Oh no, I need to show you properly actually. Look how smooth. Aren't these hot chocolates so good now? Oh mate, so I might have to get my mum a... Look how smooth that is. Yeah, it's such a good Christmas present. You need to, we need to sit down and you need to help me do my shopping. Yummy, I need to help me do my own shopping. I'll Has anyone else done their Christmas shopping yet? Because I'm not doing that well this year. I'll Two be. weeks today till Christmas Eve then. I know, I'm worried I've left it too late to order stuff. You haven't, I think you have up until the 20... 20th, 22nd. 24th. <laughs> no, to deliver, I mean. You having your chat there, are you? Yeah, so, and I said to them, I knew. And how am I supposed to con uh, concentrate on my work when you're talking about vaginas and willies? <laughs> I know what we're talking about. Now, look what's on now. Elf, you said you wanted to watch that. Yeah, I've never watched it. We should watch it all the way through later. Let's do that. Should we watch it later all the way through? Yeah. With our dinner. Yeah. Okay, yeah, right, right, we're gonna have a quick chat. Oh, we need to open the advent calendars. I didn't open them yesterday. <laughs> we'll open them after. Um, anyway, okay, let's have a look. What are the main questions people would like to know? I won't talk for too long because I don't have that long, but just in case anyone else is struggling with their contraception or, you know, just your body in general. I feel like a lot of people don't talk about this online and it would be nice. I would have liked to have found somewhere where I could hear someone talk a bit more about it from their own. <laughs> What's wrong with you, Bluey? She's being very clingy this morning now. She wants to get involved in the women's chat. Oh, she does, look. She's like, mum, I just had my operation. <laughs> I'll talk about my experience. <laughs> anyway, okay. How are you not getting pregnant? So. Lots of you have asked this because obviously natural cycles is not kind of, it is, it's not protection as such. It's like tracking to know when you're fertile be when you're not. And obviously at the beginning of it, it's not going to be that reliable because I've been on contraception for 10 years. So my cycle, I don't know where it is, when it is. What is with you two? He's trying to lick off my lipstick now. <laughs> They're so clingy and you wonder why people complain that all my videos are about is you two. They do get so involved though, you know. Some people's dogs, when you point, when I point at things, they look at it and they put their nose to it. Some dogs don't get that involved. I don't make them do that. <laughs> they are just very involved with us, aren't they? I think when we speak, they think we're speaking to them a lot as well. When I'm, I'm talking to my camera right now, not you. <laughs> With this app, it's more just tracking where you are at in your cycle. However, we do use condoms as well. So many people have been like, but you're gonna get pregnant because it's not completely reliable, but we use condoms as well. And yeah, it tells me at the moment, a few days of the month where I am definitely not fertile, but gradually as you use it more and more, you do get... Yeah, it's only a few days. At the well, that's what I said. It's only a few days at the moment because it's getting used to my cycle and trying to work out where my cycle is because 
I don't know, they don't know, no one knows because it's just been so long since I had a normal cycle because of my pill. After you stopped, how long did it take for your periods to go back to normal? This is a good question. And obviously if you watch my vlogs normally, you probably know this, but I took about six weeks before I had my first period, which I was so surprised about. I didn't think it would be that quick because I know some people wait six months to a year sometimes. It just depends on your body and I, I don't know all of the science and logistics behind this kind of thing but don't panic if you are longer than what I was because I know a lot of people who it's taken a lot longer for them to see their period again. But I'm on my second period which I've said like three days in a row now. <laughs> I feel like it's all I talk about, but I promise I'll shut up about it. You're I'm just. I am happy about it because I know that my body is doing what it should be. I always found it a bit weird when I was on my pill because I just didn't know, like, if my body was functioning correctly because, you know, naturally, because I just didn't have any normal cycle things happen to my body. I had no period. And so now as well, when I'm quite emotional, I can one, see that my period's coming on my app, but also I almost know now, oh, I'm sad for no reason because my period's due. Whereas before, I probably still had those hormones, but I just didn't know that it was related to when I should be having a period because I didn't have one. Has your mental health improved? Yes, I think it has improved, actually. I feel a lot lighter. That's the main reason why I wanted to come off mine. I'm not, like, against contraception at all or the pill, but I was on it for a very, very long time and I just felt like I wanted to feel my body in its natural state. Obviously that's not gonna work for everyone and a lot of people, different contraception works well. I didn't really want to move on to another hormonal contraception straight after because one, I was a bit scared, like I don't wanna do an injection that much, I'm a bit scared of them and of implant and also a lot of them do protect you for a certain amount of years before you can then try and have children I don't want to have that sort of limit because I think we will want to have children within the next few years and a lot of them cover you for like three to five years I think I don't know that much about most of the other contraceptions because I haven't probably looked into them my friends have had different ones but my it was my friend that told me about natural cycles and I Think it works well for me I know not everyone agrees with it but it is very legit and it works really well for me and I really like knowing what my body's doing when it's doing it that's really what I wanted to know are your pains more intense now than before as in period pains do you know what surprisingly the, the, the reason I actually went on the pill years and years ago was actually because my periods were really painful to be honest they seem a lot shorter than they used to be when I was younger. My periods were just very intense and they lasted for ages. They were really painful. So that's why I went on the pill. And I found now my periods are a lot shorter and lighter and less painful. Don't know if that's age. <laughs> I don't know if... I don't know. I don't know why that would be. But that was something I was a little bit scared about was how my periods might be now. And I thought maybe they might be worse after so long of not having them, but it wasn't. So if you're scared about that too, don't be. Mine actually seem okay. Just grab a hot water bottle, grab a hot chocolate, and watch your favorite Christmas film. <laughs> and then it's just general, like what are the pros and cons do I think of coming off the pill? I do need to go. Yes, it's 11, I need to go, but I'll answer this while I'm gonna go. Um, to my meeting on Zoom. Should be where am I going? Pros, I would say, I now am very aware of my body. I feel a lot lighter mentally. I had a very sort of flat mood I noticed um, in comparison. Like I wasn't, I didn't have like major up and downs. It was generally just like that. And I don't know, it just felt like there was a bit of fog all the time, sort of covering my brain. <laughs> Obviously the cons are I now have a period which is annoying, but it is natural. So I wouldn't really even call that a con. And you do have to be careful if you're if you do choose natural cycles and you have to be very aware of what where you are in your cycle and obviously I'm using other forms of protection as well. I think it was definitely the right decision. Just listen to what you think is right and research into what you want to do. But I very much recommend natural cycles personally. But definitely do your own research. Anyway, I'm gonna go hang on, I haven't even tasted my hot chocolate. 
Oh, that's nice. It tastes really gingery. It almost tastes like a health hot chocolate drink. Bluebell has had enough of those meetings. That was a long one, wasn't it, Bloom? Has it tired you out? How is that come to? <laughs> she picks there out of everywhere on my laptop case. Okay, here is today's lunch. So this is actually something Niall has made for our project we're working on together. Ooh. It did nudge nudge. So this is the prawn salad which looks amazing and I'm not usually that into my salads unless Niall makes them. <laughs> or a chicken Caesar salad. I do like a chicken Caesar. Let's see if I actually like this now. I'm gonna be honest. Oh, it's nice. I freestyled it. It is nice. It's a tiny bit salty, okay. but the prawns actually are really nicely seasoned because sometimes I find that prawns are a bit like just squidge. They're too salty, so they're not quite. They're not good. No, but I think because I didn't get a tomato. But with the rest of it, mm, the I saltiness did. will balance out. Let me try again with a cherry oh, tomato. I need the perfect mouthful. No, but cherry tomatoes make things so much fresher, don't they? Ah, mm. oh, there you go. You needed the tomato in there. Eat, you're eating it wrong. It's not not nice. Well, who said it wasn't not nice? You're eating you it You just wrong. need that like sweet tinge, and that's what the tomato does. It's never my fault. You killed it. Best radio station ever. Hundred percent Christmas, guys. If you want to listen to a Christmas song, get yourself on Magic. Whoever came up with a hundred percent Christmas songs. That's the bass line. Dum, do, 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 do. <laughs> Whoever came up with that needs a promotion, don't they? Yeah. Why have the other radio stations not thought of doing that? Because some people don't like listening to Christmas music. <laughs> <laughs> Shine out all your negativity from my life. <laughs> I don't know if you know so I can hear him. <laughs> I can hear you singing Christmas songs. I can hear you singing Christmas songs. The world. <laughs> Shut up! Hey. You're like that. What's that TikTok? I remember how it goes now. It goes, Good morning, my neighbours. And then that person goes, F you. And he goes, No! <laughs> You're too. <laughs> You're like a ninja. <laughs> he thought they were two pounds. No, it's just two pounds. They're fifteen. Bloody rip off. Let's see. Picked them up now, haven't Wait, I? Oh, they smell nice. Oh, they're nice, Niall. Thank you. You look like such a ninja. Get your head down. Right, right. me and Niall are currently food shopping. And I just wanted to show you this because these are so good, aren't they, Niall? Yeah, they are. I feel like we should get it for one night this weekend. This is a wasabi box. Tomorrow when we come back from London. Well, shall we? Or shall we have dinner out tomorrow? Yeah, dinner out. We'll have dinner out, but these are so good. I didn't know that they sold wasabi in supermarkets till recently, but... Saturday we're out. We get a katsu curry, chicken gyozas, chili crackers and hot wings. Got the price of that for two. How much cheaper is that than a takeaway? Literally like a third of the price. And it is actually new. Didn't realise that. Oh my god, look how cool that is. They've labelled the Christmassy vegetables to show you where they are. Brussels sprouts. I quite like them now. Sprouts. Should we get some sprouts? Mm, yeah, actually, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> your face. That's so cool. I wonder if they've got like chicken or turkey over here. I think that woman just looked at me thinking I was like a tourist filming the supermarket. <laughs> It was filming the, the decorations. It's looked like in the UK. <laughs> I, feel like, I always feel like such a tourist in public with my camera when I'm filming bits. But oh my god, look! It says Elf Checkouts over there. How cute! Sainsbury's are killing it with the Christmas decorations elf this year. Taking the S off. Oh yeah! But he's covering it. Oh, that's so cute. Look, he's covering it. That's clever scene sprees. I'm gonna grab myself one of these. Such a good little lunchtime, easy meal with some chicken and peri peri. Lovely. Oh my god, they've stocked up on their cheeses. 
Haven't they? Look now. There's never usually this much cheese here. What's your favourite cheese at Christmas time? Yeah, not you now. We, no, in a couple of weeks we'll do this. No, but look how much stock they've got compared to usual. They've slapped it in. Season to get. This is one of your favourites, isn't it? I like that one, yeah. I quite like this one. I like the period. No, not that one, the same. Well. I mean, I like this one onion and chive. Oh, oh, I don't know about sweet in a cheese though, do you? Bit of a weird shaped cheese. <laughs> like a sausage put it down stop it one of my favorite things about food shopping during this time of year look at these chutneys and i love a chutney christmas spice chutney i think i'm gonna have to get that one we've got sticky fig and balsamic vinegar and we've got festive plum chutney with slow gin i don't like slow gin so i think i'm gonna go with this one who else used to drink this when they were little and think they were drinking wine <laughs> I loved it so much, I might get it just to taste, taste the, um, what's it called, nostalgia. Oh, they've got some very snazzy flavours since when I was little. Crisp cranberry and raspberry, red grape, white grape, to be fair, I think this is the one I usually drink. White grape and apple, I feel like a bit of crisp cranberry, raspberry, oh, and there's grape in that one. Let's go with that. show you this house how incredible is that I wish that was my house that is so cool three two one <laughs> oh gosh hello everybody we are back from the shops Niall's actually gone to the gym it's, it's actually been a while since I saw you because basically I went off straight to get my nails done because we were running a little bit behind time. I feel like I probably say that at least once in every single video. But I have my nails done, so I've done something quite simple this time, and I think then we've, me and my nail artist have decided we're gonna do something snazzy and arty for just before Christmas. So basically, I went with one red and one Christmas tree green hand. <laughs> But yeah, they're only gonna stay on for about just over a week, so we just thought, do something plain and simple. Just get rid of those pumpkins, sort your nails out, because <laughs> they were looking shocking. So I'm very pleased that they're just nice and neat now and just on. <laughs> um, anyway, I thought I would just show you guys some of the bits we picked up from the shop, because I actually love watching this kind of thing on videos. Um, I won't show you everything, because a lot of it is Niall's stuff for his food videos. <laughs> including this which he's got because he wanted to wear it in one of his goodbye videos actually i'll tell you what he said because he's not here <laughs> uh, he literally said to me oh i want to get a picture wearing this hat with just his goodbye apron on with nothing else i was like okay <laughs> whatever you want to do anyway that's his bag of food so i'll just show you some of the bits i picked up because there was some festive things that i saw which i thought were nice so we have some mince. Just turned off. That was so weird. The tap just turned itself on. <laughs> so we have some mince pies, and do you know what? I haven't had a mince pie yet this year. I was tempted to make them today with you, but then I just ran out of time because this meeting earlier was very long. Basically, I've had a deadline now for all of my app work, but obviously because of my hard drive corrupting, everything's got pushed back this week and it was literally like, we need you to send us that stuff and finish it, otherwise your app can't launch. <laughs> so today's been a little bit hectic. I haven't finished everything yet, but anyway, the point was, I was going to make mince pies with you, but I kind of ran out of time because it's now, what time is it now? Half past seven, so we won't be making mince pies today, but I may at some point. But I got myself a little pack because I do like a mince pie. Also have some. Oh, I saw this. I have never heard of this before. It's a Disarano velvet liqueur. So if any of you like Disarano, which is like the almondy. Oh my gosh. Never ever. Must be a Christmas thing, right? 
Never seen it before, never heard of it before. Let me get a glass, let's have a taste together. Oh, that is so good. It just tastes like the Serrano, but basically it's like a thicker consistency, so it, it tastes like Bailey's slash De Serrano. I think I prefer that to Bailey's though. That's so good. Such a good little find, isn't it, Bez? <laughs> That's he sat on the floor watching me talk. I'm Ashley. <laughs> Who else drank this? It literally takes me back. So I thought we'd have a little go at that on the weekend. And I also picked up the Christmas spice chutney. Apple and pear chutney with sultanas, orange zest, and Christmas spices. It basically sounds like mushed up mince pie meat, but I'm sure we will get use of that throughout the month and over Christmas time. It does smell awfully. And then we also have just more general stuff. Some Philadelphia, because I do love making a pasta with Philadelphia. We have some of my milks, because I do love a bit of milk. Oh, I'm gonna have to tell Carl not to watch this video. But me and now picked up this birthday cake for Carl. How the heck, right? <laughs> My mum's birthday, my two best friends' birthday, my fiance's birthday, and Niall's best friend's birthday are all in the space of a few weeks of Christmas. How has that happened? I just don't even know, but Carl's birthday is on Saturday, Niall's birthday is on Monday, Holly's birthday's just been, my mum's birthday's just been, Bryony's birthday soon. I can't keep up. So I also picked up some rices because I'm very lazy and I don't like to boil rice <laughs> so we have that I I bought these as a little treat for the weekend so we've got some Lindor orange chocolates I love them I love orange chocolate full stop are you a lover of orange chocolate or a hater I feel like it's one of them with you either love it or you hate it and then we have some sprouts <laughs> and what else do we have? Some tomatoes for our wraps. We've got some lettuce. We've got some celery because Niall has said he's going to cook some bolognese tonight and he uses celery in it and I'm so excited because his bolognese is amazing. Anyway, I'm not going to run through everything else, I don't think, because it's more general like veggies and some chicken, garlic, all of that kind of stuff. And my battery's actually just flashing though. But yeah, just thought I'd share our shop today. But I'm gonna wait for Niall to come home and then we're gonna have a snuggly date night. I'm not gonna get dressed up. I'm in, <laughs> I'm in my kiddie pajamas and my dressing gown. So we're gonna watch Elf and snuggle up and eat bolognese and I'm excited. It's December again. I can't believe it Whatever happened to you? <laughs> Why is she like, she's obsessed with my hat? She's not sure! Do you remember when you wore a pan on your head once? And she was so <laughs> like... Flavie likes Santa, don't you? <laughs> Santa, baby... Oh, what do you want? <laughs> oh no, they, they both look really... <laughs> he wants to it. Oh, look. Bless you. Where's Santa? Santa's coming in two weeks. I think you're on the nice list, you're on the naughty list. He's not naughty. <laughs> Do you want to know how to take your spag bowl up to the next level? Go on then. Tell him. Pasta in water cooked. Spaghetti cooked. Bowl in sink. Cylinder. <laughs> Thrown pasta over bowl, reserving pasta water. Oh, I wondered what that was there for. Pasta back in. I'm going to use half. Save half for another time. Oh, I thought you put half on top. Yeah, for yeah, we can put a little bit on top. Oh. And then pasta water in a little bit of that. Yum. And it just mixes it in way better, you see. Yummy. And then when you serve it up, yeah, you put a little bit of that meat on top as well. Yeah, so you usually dollop a little bit of the bolognese as well, don't you, on the top of it. What's the other one? Karen Durant. <laughs> what's the what's the aunt one? No, I swear sometimes people go and blah blah's the aunt. Why is everyone going on about Karen's 
I don't know. Karen's and Susan's people just use. I feel sorry for people who have that name because they always get used in like, oh Karen, oh Susan. <laughs> anyway. We are gonna eat our bolognese. We also, actually, I've almost finished my espresso martini, but I've been drinking that while I've been doing some editing on my laptop. My brain feels like it's, it's just aching now from, from listening to myself teach workouts. It's just like, all I can hear is three, two, one. Come on there, let's go. <laughs> my brain is just fried. Anyway, I'm gonna sit on the sofa, eat my bolognese with Niall, and we're gonna watch Elf. It's currently on. And I'm excited. Do you know what? I've never properly watched this film through start to end. No, I haven't either. So we're gonna do that tonight. My eyebrows look really uneven. And I don't know why that is. That's a bit better. There we go. Yeah, you've been like that there. Have they? <laughs> I hope. You gotta tell people that I hate the people that when you have food stuck in your teeth and someone doesn't tell you and they just look at it for ages and just look at your mouth while you're talking. It's the most annoying thing. I know you would do that. Anyway, I'm gonna love you and leave you. I hope you enjoyed Vlogmas Day 9. I will see you tomorrow. No, I won't. This is the last vlog of the week for you, but I'll be filming tomorrow, which is Friday, which will be up on Monday. And we have a lovely day planned not at home i mean we'll be at home a little bit but mostly not at home so i'm excited to get out and about with niall because we don't get out and about that much <laughs> i will see you very soon i hope you're all feeling okay happy friday for you and yeah i'll see you soon oh and also don't forget to enter the giveaway because the giveaway will be up on my stories on instagram tomorrow so it will be this video which you'll need to comment your Instagram on once you've answered the question on Instagram story. Very confusing, but I will see you soon.